Thorpe. Uh, not you, Mr. Thorpe. Hey, listen, am I, am I too early? I can always... No, uh... Grady, come on in. I mean, do I look like the type of guy that holds a grudge? Huh? What are you talking about, Grady? Nah, nah, forget about it. Yeah. I just feel like talking, you know? Sometimes I get lonely, and I feel like talking. And when a friend happens to come along... Grady, hey, I want to... I can call you my friend, can I? I want to know what you mean by holding a grudge. Not to forget. Look, no hard feelings, all right? You know, I, I, I wish you nothing but the best. I realize that's hard to believe. But, you know, it's... Back, back in those days, you had bad times. I understand. Look, Grady, that happened in the past. All in the past. Hey, you don't have to tell me. I was there, kid. And I want it to stay in the past. Did I say different? I was right on his tail from the time he left to the time he pulled up late that lady's driveway. Oh, not Holly's place. Please don't tell me it was Holly. Look, I'd really like to oblige you, sweetheart, but I can't. <sighs> All right. How long was he there? Long enough to make her dinner. And um, I really hate to tell you this, but uh, I think he would have liked to have made something else. How do you know? Well, as the song says, uh, a kiss oh, is still a kiss. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Jen. Jen, I'm sorry. Okay, he cooked her dinner. What did he cook for her? Well, I wouldn't exactly say cook. But I never saw anybody take so long to make one lousy tuna sandwich. What is that? What do you think it is? It's garbage. I went through his garbage. You told me you wanted proof. A photograph, you idiot. I didn't want press. Well, my camera got jammed. I thought this would be the next best thing. Hey, don't... Grady, don't scare me. Do you have the money? 25 grand in cash. Oh, gosh. Well, it takes a special oyster to make this kind of a pearl, doesn't it? We're talking vintage oyster. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you couldn't get the other one. Next time we will. Look, uh, I don't mean to complain or anything, but uh, why are you selling so low? Oh, just call it a little fire sale. Plan to make a big haul next time I want you up for the price. Well, you know where you can get a hold of me. Club clothes. I look pretty good, don't I? Mm, you look terrific. Thanks. Hey, let me ask you a question. Uh, how did you get us in this place, anyways? This is real exclusive. Well, my club in New York has privileges that allows us to come to different clubs. It's nice for our business, isn't it? By the way, keep your eyes open in case you see any delectable baubles you might want. I got a gut feeling, Jenny. That's because you don't chew your food. Didn't your mother tell you you should chew your food? It's good for your digestion. Mm. About Roger Thorpe. Think about it, Jenna. We've known each other for a lot of years, right? Through the good ones, the bad ones, through the thick and the thin, when we were young and restless. Old and beautiful. Hey, you're making fun of me now. I'm not. I'm not yeah. making fun of you. I'm really am not. I just don't want you to say anything else that you may regret. I think it's too late. Hey, I do love you. Yeah? Yes, I do. You are my best friend in the entire universe. But I'm sorry the answer is no. Why? Because of that Mancini guy? Hey, what was all that BS you were, you were telling Roger about how Rex is so boring, huh? I know you like that guy. We've had this conversation before. Yeah, well, we're gonna have it again. All right, all right. Mr. Mancini is all flash, no substance, doesn't matter anyway because he's not here. Oh. So Roger Thorpe's my only competition now, huh? I still don't get it. What do you see in him?